amongst the birds that interest both sportsmen and chefs, the woodcock, Scolopax minor, received as much attention in centuries past as it does in the present age, with one exception. Where today the gun is employed, the gin or springer was formerly the instrument of the hunt. <laughs> the woodcock was supposed, for some unaccountable reason, to have no brain. <laughs> and the name of the bird became synonymous with a fool. Listen here. He can come no other way but by this hedge corner. When you sally upon him, speak with an imperious voice like a big kid would. Now come, get thou, get thou the jail. He must think that we are a band of strangers in the enemy's entertainment. But wait, but hush, crouch, crouch, oh, here he comes, here he comes to return again and swear the lies that he forges. 10 o'clock, within these three hours will be time enough to go home. What should I say I have done? Must be a very plausible invention that carries it. Hmm. This will be the first truth that ere his tongue is guilty of. Well, the devil should move me to undertake the recovery of this kite, being not ignorant of the impossibility and knowing I had no such purpose. Maybe I should give myself some furs, and say I got them and exploit. Is it possible that he should know what he is and be what he is? <laughs> or maybe it could serve the turn to tear my garments or to drown my clothes and say that I was stripped. Hardly, sir. The three great oaths would scarce make that be believed. Would that I had any kite of the enemies, I would swear that I had recovered it. You'll have one and all. A kite now of the enemies! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, ransom, ransom! <laughs> I know you're a part of the Tuscan campers. Mm. I mean to lose my life. Mm. Let me speak. And I will discover that which shall undo any big kid. Ah. <laughs> I understand thee, and my friends here are content to spare thee. If thou mayest inform us of something that could save your life, let me live and all the secrets of our camp I'll show, their forces, their purposes, nay, I shall speak that which thou wilt wonder at. Wilt thou faithfully? If I do not, curse me. <laughs> <laughs> thou shalt have space to do that anon. Take him away. And now I will to Bertram and tell him we have caught the woodcock. <laughs> And we'll keep him muffled until his lordship arrives. <laughs>